The setting is Bond Head during World War II. March 13, 1941, at approximately 1.45 p.m. I think Charlie's going to lead this one off, right? <coughs> yeah, you got the date right. <laughs> I was attending SS number 11 at the time. <clears throat> and during the noon hour, we rode in the playground. And I can remember as plain as it was yesterday, looking eastward over 27 Highway. And it was very common at that time to see training planes in the area. It was either Atsons or Harvard's were always in the air above. And these two Atsons were flying seemingly together southward over 27 Highway about. And as I watched, all of a sudden, fragments of metal started to fly in the air and immediately those two planes started to tumble downward they disappeared out of the out of sight behind the horizon <clears throat> one of the planes crashed just south of the H concession uh, east of 27 went straight down to the ground the engines were six feet in the ground when we they were, they were, and all four crewmen were killed. The second plane traveled southward and came to rest on the hillside south of the Gummerson Barn. Incidentally, Gummerson Barn has disappeared. Did you notice yeah. that? <coughs> this plane landed upside down on the hillside south of Gummerson Barn. Landed flat on its upside down. Three of the four crewmen were killed instantly. The fourth one survived, and the story goes that he finally returned to service in the war, but was killed later in action, late, later, later in the war. That's, uh, that's my recollections of that uh, plane crash. Thanks, Charlie. I think, I think Bob, you have something to add. Yes, this is another story I did extensive research on. I have a list of all the uh, crewmen on the two planes, and uh, in the research that I did, there were two survivors on the, from the plane that landed upside down on the west side of 27, and uh, the, uh, one died on the way to the hospital, and the other was aircraftman second class J.L. Flower, and he was 19 years old, and he came from East Lake, Hampshire. And uh, he was uh, uh, one of the instructors, apparently, because the four that they were training were just recent arrivals from England. And uh, the uh, the funeral service for the seven deceased was held on uh, Monday, March the 17th, 1941, during the worst blizzard of the season. <laughs> and uh, squadron leader, the Reverend A.R. Bradshaw, was the chaplain of number 31 Air Navigation School uh, from Port Albert, where the planes were flying from. And the uh, the actual crash time was 1.05 p.m. March the 13th. And I got this from the Barry Examiner, and it was published weekly at that time on every Thursday. And both the crash and the funeral were uh, included in the same copy of March the 20th, 1941. The British Commonwealth Air Training Plan was a joint military air crew training plan created by the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. There's a number 31 Air Navigation School was located in Port Albert, which is located on, on Lake Huron, north of Godrich. It opened in November of 1940 and closed in February 1945. And all, as uh, Bob and Charlie have indicated, all eight airmen were um, stationed at Port Albert and were members of the Royal Air Force. So that's a picture of uh, Avro Anson, the planes were Avro Anson's. 
this is that um, funeral ceremony that uh, Bob was alluding to on the coldest day. It was, they were, it was taken at the Barry uh, uh, Union Cemetery. This is the uh, Barry Union Cemetery where six of the sol soldiers or sa uh, airmen are, are buried. That's their, their memorial stones. Um, and that's the names and ages of them. Now, one was buried in Woodland Cemetery in Hamilton. Um, not sure why. Now, these seven that died, we, we know where their, uh, their, their remains are. They have memorial stones. Uh, as an aside, I just wanted to talk about the Ottawa Memorial. This commemorates those uh, air, air crew uh, who have no known resting space. And I'll just read out what it says. It says, 1939-1945. In honored memory of the men and women of the Air Forces of the British Commonwealth and Empire who gave their lives in Canada, in the United States of America, and in neighboring lands and seas, and who have no known grave. There are 809 names uh, listed on that memorial. 